Hey there. So uh, a user named Mark uh, reached out and said, hey, can you run through 6E, which is a tabular report for activities scheduled to start during the month of September 2010. Uh, we're doing the assignment out of, uh, out of this book here, Construction Project Scheduling and Control by Saleh Mubarak. So yeah, going back down here. So basically, we just need to run a filter for activities that are scheduled to start in the month of September. So if I go and I open up that schedule file, really what we want, you can see it here, we want this activity, this one, this one, this one, and then these two. It looks like those are the activities that are scheduled to start, but I need to figure out what filter to use for that. So the way that I would do it, I would create a new filter. Uh, I would just call it uh, start date within September 2010 or something like that and I would say the start I would say where the start and you, you can either scroll down or I just tap S on my keyboard and then that jumps me to the S section and I'll find the start and instead of equal because I don't want it to be equal because that's just going to return one date you know equal to September 6th it's just going to return that exact any activity with that exact date. So what I want to use is the drop down, and I want to say is within range of, and it's I'm going to be able to choose a low value here. So I'll say custom date, and I can choose it's within range of September 1st, and I want a high range of going to 2010 here. Of the high range is September 30th. All right, so my start date is within range of, at the low end, September 1st, at the high end, September 10th, okay. And I'm just, I always like to make sure that that's the only filter that I'm applying because you might have like multiple other filters going on and you're thinking, okay, I'm gonna apply that and all of a sudden no activities occur. So one thing I like to do, I just say all activities. So that that takes off anything that's check marked. And then I go back and I click on start that, that one filter just to make sure I'm only filtered for that one thing. And I'm going to apply that. And there it returns all of the activities that are scheduled uh, to occur within the September 1st to September 30th date. So that looks, that looks right to me. Um, I think, uh, Mark, you had also had a question about like grouping and stuff like that. So... Um, if you're wondering about that, I have made other videos in the past about like grouping and sorting and stuff. But one thing you can do, you can just click the start date here on that column and that, that automatically sorts it by start date. Or you could, you know, do it by finish date. So whichever column you end up clicking on, it's going to sort it by that date. If you wanted to, you know, you can see we have a couple codes here. You know, responsibility and area. Um, let me see if, I think all those areas are the same so if I went to the, here's my group and sort up here and you could could group it by responsibility so we can find that code there um, maybe I do it by yeah just the that code so here's those subcontractors that are responsible for that activity and uh, you, again you can just click the, the start date and it's gonna sort it by that or if you go to your group and sort, you can also sort it here. You can choose you know, how you want it sorted. So by start date, ascending, there you go. So hope that helps. Thanks for reaching out. All right, bye.